But something is so terribly, terribly wrong. Ow. Oh. Ah. oh god, that hurts. Suck it, Mel Gibson. Hello, Windless Void. I'm Shell, that's, uh, Bimmy, and sorta, and today we're diving into the chaotic and hilarious world of Wade Wilson, better known as Deadpool. I thought that was you! Deadpool is a not-so-uniquely designed character with an oddly unique evolution and fandom. He's known for his quick wit like Spidey, his tendency to break the fourth wall like She-Hulk, and most importantly, his incredible healing factor, of which there is no one else like. Fuck. Wolverine. Most people know Deadpool for his primary superpower, which is his accelerated healing factor. That's derived from the mutant Wolverine. This allows him to regenerate damaged or destroyed bodily tissues with far greater speed and efficiency than an ordinary human. In most cases, he can regenerate faster than Wolverine, but this has more so been explained due to Wolverine's healing factor always working in overdrive to deal with the medical hardships of having adamantium bonded to his bones. That being said, not too many other fighters actively weaponize their healing factor, quite like Deadpool, whose fighting antics include using his own body parts as weapons or having a complete disregard to whatever damage he may suffer to even allowing himself to be ripped apart to buy others time. Oh my god, I can't feel my legs! I can't, I can't feel... Oh no, they're right here! Now, Deadpool also possesses superhuman strength. Most people don't really think of Deadpool when they're thinking about characters with super strength, as it tends to be an ability of his that's downplayed, especially in comparison to his fighting skills and his healing factor. But when it counts, Deadpool can bring some muscle to the game. Now, his strength has never really been fully explained, but seeing as how it's usually floating around the area of peak human physicality, kind of like Captain America, his strength may also be due to his healing factor as well. It may be helping with the flushing of lactic acid faster to possibly even repairing micro tears in his muscle fibers faster. It may be that Deadpool's strength is only capped by his physical size, or maybe we'll even see a storyline with his abilities being pushed to levels that we only relate to Darwin's abilities of adaptation. It's been a dream of mine to see my face reflected in your helmet as you charge at me with murderous intent. Okay, I'm sure an arena full of psychologists could write diagnoses and dissertations for days based around Deadpool, as he's got a psychology even more unique than his physiology. He's known for his irreverent sense of humor his tendency to break the fourth wall, and his unpredictable behavior. Although these have all clearly been connected to him suffering from many psychological maladies, they've also explored the idea of him being fully aware and cognizant of what he's doing, but knowing how jarring it can be for his opponent, and that it does put the card of unpredictability always on his side, giving him a better idea of how to steer the fight as he can continually keep his adversary mentally off balance, or at the very least, incredibly distracted. Additionally, like the Joker from DC, they've also explored the idea of Deadpool being super sane, granting him an awareness like Joker that they exist in a comic book world completely at the beck and call of their creators and readers. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. The tragedy that Deadpool suffers from extends from his overall awareness to his more fragile insecurities and fears. He's constantly grappling with his disfigurement as well as his immortality. As funny as Deadpool is, he's more than likely also using his humor to mask the pain he feels. He's very aware that his healing abilities will prolong his life beyond anyone he knows. Creating bonds with people only means he'll have to eventually deal with not just losing them, but outliving almost anyone he can get close to. I never should have left you there. I left you in that prison. But even amidst his struggles, Deadpool's story is one of resilience. His unconventional methods and character evolution have allowed him to define the term anti-hero. Deadpool's story reminds us that it's okay to be different, to not take ourselves too seriously, and to find humor in the face of adversity. For whatever flaws and criticisms we can throw at Deadpool, we can also say that he is a character that always cares for others and yearns to be himself and connect with those he cares about, sometimes whether they want to or not. Oh, wow. Cool your pits. They're growing back. I'm talking about your face. We had fun on this Deadpool deep dive, and we hope that you did too. If you like this explainer, you'd probably like this one over here. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. <laughs> Once again, I'm Shell. That's Bimmy. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. I guess, I guess my heart was finally in the right place. Ugh. So, Void, was that good enough? Do I get to see Bimmy? Do, are, are you going to return him? No. Bimmy, how are you, buddy? Oh, I hope you're okay. Uh, no oh, wait, no, 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 Bim Bimmy, hold on, buddy, I'm coming for you. No more now. First more story. No, 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 please wait, no, no. Oh man, they're gone. 
Hey, wh- what's that? It, it looks like some kind of doorway or something. You know, I may not be able to get to Bimmy, but maybe I can just get a little closer without Void knowing. Okay, here goes nothing. 